Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35 Cards where today we're going to be getting into Stadium Club. Let's see what I got. Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35 Cards. Like I said, we're going to be opening up Top Stadium Club 2019 Baseball. Two on card, autograph cards in every box. Now, I contemplated on not getting this box. Uh, just for the fact as very I love the pictures I really do um, but I'm trying to really think about what I'm buying and uh, like the last box I opened I think it was Topps Museum uh, I know Tribute's coming out uh, I'm starting to really go after that type of market uh, not stuff that I can get in so often in retail I'll pick up a pack here and there but what turned the tide for me was what I'm hunting for is a Alonzo autograph. I've seen quite a few of them. I know the chances are very low, but you can't, you can't win unless you buy, right? So let's see what I got. Does come with the oversized box loader. <coughs> we'll open that last. Hopefully I remember. And let's see. Uh, does it say how many hmm don't say how many packs but there you go it's in there let's get into her like I might have mentioned I am trying to save up money for going to the national do some hunting there and I'm really trying to see I really like these pictures I, they're beautiful pictures uh, you know they've done things and other companies have done things like this in the past with more of action photos but through the years these cards just the print stadium club logo just not much changes Very good art, uh, uh, picture of Bryce. Oh, a black Derek Jeter. I know blacks are short printed. I can't remember what they're printed to. Uh, they're not, I don't think they have numbered cards in this one. But yeah, black Derek Jeter. Very nice. So that's a good way to start this one off. Uh, like I said, you know, this this product just, I, I get excited for opening up anything. But this, uh, I don't get especially too excited. I'm a little late getting it. I thought about not getting it. I actually thought about getting another box of museum instead. But I like to look at them. They're like very beautiful cards. I mean, to me, I wish this they would do their series one and two like this and just cut back on their releases. <sighs> Peralta Castro, and I'm sure they got some short print pictures. Pee Wee Reese, alternates. I haven't really looked again. I really don't start looking at the checklist until I have a stack of them and I'm like, oh, that one looks different. Nolan Ryan, 
Emperors of the Zone. I know this comes, I've seen, I believe, I've seen this in autograph form. This card, actually, Nolan Ryan. I'm, I, I'm not going to swear to that, but Dallas Cackle. See, I, I just, these off, like, you know, just not the usual pictures. Picture of a picture. And that picture is pretty ripped. <laughs> Looks like a football player. I wouldn't charge that mound. Oh, Ricky Henderson. Well, Eddie Murray. It's a cool picture. Going back and forth if I want to get his autograph. Aaron Judge, because he did play for the Mets. So. And it's going to be hard for me to get helmets signed because my understanding is they stopped making the helmets. They weren't easy to find helmets last year at the show. Derek G Jeter, Beam Team. And I saw this too. I, I don't understand Beam of Might. For baseball, it would be called a Beam Team. I, kind of negative. I really don't want to be beamed with a baseball. Bo Jackson. Jackie Bradley Jr. Hometown. Guy. Schwaber. They do a lot of these sideways pitchers, which is not bad. Nolan Ryan. Teams. Todd Helton. Smarja. Yasiel Puig. Eloy Jimenez, rookie card. Eloy. Pretty big rookie, so put that at least in a penny sleeve at the moment I believe that will go into a book it might not go in a book now this one feels thicker I don't know why this pack felt thicker I don't really see anything in it make it thicker Glaber Torres Jake Lamb we got a red one coming up Elvis Craig Kimbrell. Which just oh, it is something. It's a one of those cream cards. So if you're out hunting and you feel a thicker pack, it might be a chrome card in there. Ramon Oriano, red. And there was a reason why I picked up a penny sleeve. Justice Sheffield. Chrome Stadium Club. I know they're pretty tough to get, I think. It was Brinson, Bob Feller. Heck of a feller. Just kind of whipping through these. No time to really. I mean, these have been open a ton online. Uh, they've been out for a little while. And again, this is another product. If you wait a little bit, they'll start coming down in price pretty quickly. <clears throat> a Murph, I think this guy should be Hall of Fame. Xander. Buster. Love those catching pictures. And this is a good product for getting in action and Dozier. I really like those pictures. Corbin Burns, the player, not the actor. Not the actor that played a player. I don't even know if that's Corbin Burns. It sounds like the name. Oh, and then I have my first auto, and I really love these. They're on card. Taylor Ward, rookie card. Angels. I 
I think this year I'm going to try to figure out when I go to the National what to take and that might be one of them there to kind of, I've never taken cards, but uh, there's a guy doing a trade night right across the street from me, Wade Boggs, so I think I might hit that up, take a few things, because I have no idea, that's my problem with trading and those certain, I have, you know, I don't know if people... I'm out of touch with that type of card game. I, I, I'm pretty sure you know any of the new players, any rookie, uh, hot rookies. Uh, but man, to get the return value on it, you know, you'd be better off as a Jeter regular. You know, I'm just gonna go through, pull out a bunch of also base stuff just to see, you know, help people with PCs. Cause that, that's what I'm looking for. Well, not really. I, there is Gary Carter's that I'm looking for, but I'll get more into that next week when I. Oh, and this is a nice one. Also going to my PC and Met, Omar Rosario. Oh, that's the tops. Was that the tops sports collectors or something card? Top certified. Top Stadium, uh, Top Stadium Club. I haven't seen that in Sydney in a long time. That's their old. Threw me off. Sandy and Juan Soto. But I just want to throw that out there. If anybody knows what I should take for trade trading, I, I don't want to say trade bait because I, you know, we're in a community. Supposedly, it's going to be quite a few people there. It's in a large ballroom at a hotel next to the convention center. And so to do the first night on there, Clayton Kershaw. Now this was flipped upside down. I was hoping it was an auto. Uh, maybe it's an alternative print. Sorry, I just got to pull it off camera. Just a quick sec, just to see what numbers are in the bottom. Got the same numbers, and I and if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I have pull out my magnifying glass, but there's numbers right on the bottom here. I know it's hard to see um, right here in the white. And usually, if it's a short print, the last two numbers a lot of times will be different than the base cards. <laughs> you can pull it out, look at inserts, and see what I'm talking about. And it's just a quick way to see if there's a something different with that card, a short print or anything. Now it might be just an overall short print, but I'll check it out later. Harrison Bader. Oh, we got a good red one here. Kyle Ripken, PC. Love Ripken. Nice, nice red one there. Now red ones are Usually, I don't know what the odds are, but it feels like about every other pack, or sometimes it's even every pack. Piazza. Man, I was checking out an autograph jersey of his on eBay last night. Just didn't pull the trigger. If it was a different time of year, I might have. Game used jersey. It wasn't a bad price on it. That's that's had a COA and all that stuff. Josh Donaldson, let me flip these Ozzy Albies. Justin Upton. Danny Jansen. Trevor Bauer. Let me get my hands up there so y'all can see him. Blake Schnell. Carlos Carrera. I like that pitcher. David Dahl. Man, that, the pitchers on here are just beautiful. I mean, that that's that's what put it over the top for me to purchase these. I really, really love them. I uh, always pick them up when I'm in a store, as long as they're out. Um, you know, usually I pick up Gypsy Queen Heritage until they run out. But yeah, these I pick up just because I like the 
Now that's weird. Topps usually is very good about not doubling up in a box. Just seeing if it was the same card. Cedric Mullins, which I showed you not too long ago. I got an auto of Jacob DeGrom. Oh, Billy Hamilton, red. I remember when he came up, he was supposed to be the the stealing and leadoff premier player. He kind of didn't hit the expectations that was set out of him, which were, I mean, unless he was Ricky Henderson, it was darn near impossible to hit those expectations. Freddie Freeman. Now, let's see. Two of them, back-to-back. -back, Freddie Freeman's. What is going on here? Tops, you're, you, you, you're, 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 lo you're losing me here. This is stuff you do. This ain't blunt. I mean, jeesh. Same card. Back-to-back -back in the same pack. I mean... I mean, I, I know it's a hobby box... But and I know it's sold in retail, but come on, Johnny Bench. I'm still an old school school collector. I like I don't I mean I'll, I'll take doubles of players I like. I, I don't have a I like Freddie Freeman, but I rather have a guy I don't have. <laughs> Alex, Brett. you know, double up on this one right here. This was the one that you could double up on. <laughs> uh, no more Mazira, Eric Cosmer. Man, that's like old 80s stuff right there. You pull out a pack of... It was great with the hanger packs back in the day of doing that. Not so much back-to-back. -back. Well, it would be sometimes, but most of the time you get one in it because it was divided at three, and you get one in one and one in another. Cedric Mullins again. Maybe I got the whole set. Carlos Santana. Ted Williams, Cal Wright, Austin Meadows, Dustin Pedroia, which sounds like he might be done. Great career. Don't know if it's hall worthy, but he definitely should get a ring, you know, retired or something. Roberto Clemente. One of my favorite, if I had to name a player that I wish I could have saw, is this man right here. Everything I've read, uh, videos of him, um, how he passed, everything about him is intriguing to me. And I, I wish I would have got to see him play. But just was born at the wrong time. Or the right time, because I really enjoy watching the ones now. Well, Right now, I'm having some issues with, with baseball, but I still love the game. And right now, there's no guy that just jumps out that I got to have. I mean, the closest thing would be Mike Trout, but the problem is, is everybody, it feels like <laughs> everybody loves Mike Trout. I, I like to find that one guy, George Brett. I love 70s, 80s players. And what I like about Stadium Club is, yeah, they put these retired players in, but they don't oversaturate the product with it. Like they do with some others. Albert Pujols, Rafael Devers, Todd Frazier, Christy Matheson, Corey Seager. So I still should have an auto somewhere, unless I blew by it, which I've been known to do. I'm going to go and find it later. Dale Murphy again. I've gotten quite a few doubles. This has been a little... Unlike Stan Musial. Very unlike... 
Williams Astelidilo. I, I can't say his name. I don't even think he really catches for him. He, he plays every other position. The man plays every position on the field, I think. Or super sub. Not a bad one to get on the red. Last year's rookie. Oh, here's my other. Okay, here it is. Den Dietz. Okay, this is this is typical tops. I got two autos. Very nice on card. Both of them rookies. This happens a lot on their lower end. Not low end, but going stuff you can pick up in retail. They do this a lot where you get the rookies. And of course, hunting for the Alonzo. Was trying to get it on the cheap by buying a box. Yeah, didn't get it. Duke Schneider. Maybe I could trade for it at the show. Who knows? Orlando or Sia. Bogarts again, Cody Bellinger, Roger Barris, Shane Bieber, Marcelo Ina, Azuna, uh, Alberto Mondesi. You got Raul Montesi's boy, Johnny Cueto, Edwin Carcione. Last pack. Let's see if we can get another black. That'd be great. Only one big rookie card, Robinson Cano. Like I said, some of these might be short prints and I'll have to look them up. Jose Abreu, DJ Stewart, which they love to do in their retail stuff. And also Cruz. And again, it's a hobby box. I keep saying retail, but it's because you can buy it in the retail stores. Bryce Wilson, rookie on the red. Oh, Vlad, I say no big rookies, and I got a Vlad. Very good picture. Vlad baby there. Nice. Very nice. All I'm missing, I, I wish I had uh, Fernando Tatis. Probably would have had three of the bigger... And I didn't get all Alonzo. I didn't even get a regular base car of Alonzo. But I got three Freddie Freemans. All right. So let's go recap real quick. Uh, we'll do the Reds. Bryce Wilson. Uh, Willens. Dustin Pedroia. Billy Hamilton. Cal. Corbin Burns. And Ramon Moreno. A couple of rookies in there with the Reds. Uh, Stadium Chrome Justice Sheffield which is not too, too terrible hopefully he ends up having a career everybody thinks he's going to have uh, two good rookies Vlad Guerrero Eloy Jimenez and then uh, Dean Dietz which I have to be perfectly honest I have no idea who this guy is. None. And uh, I'm sure I'll get ridiculed by somebody. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I know who Taylor Ward is. <laughs> so, got Taylor Ward here. I really do love these on cards. I really do. And then a Derek Jeter black. Which I gotta find out. I know that's black is tough to pull. Getting a Derek Jeter is freaking awesome. So, uh, with that, till next time, please subscribe, like, share, hit me up in the comments of like, you know, what 
who do you look for you know some PCs out there so I can get, start getting an idea of what cards to pick up for a trade and you know what I almost did forget the box loader box topper so disregard all of that oh and it's the guy that I was talking about that I wish I would have got the C play now every once in a while these will be autographed and it's same card just bigger was it a 6x9 so Roberto Clemente so I really like these you know I'll I'll frame it, put it up in my sports room. So there you have it. Don't tip over, Brett, though. Uh, like I said, subscribe, like, share, tell a friend. Let me know who you collect. Let me know who, uh, you know, is hot in the hobby world right now. I mean, I have some ideas. I mean, I'm not an idiot. But, you know, I know the the you know I'm thinking of top 10 and you and I not talk about great players I'm talking about players that people uh, collect um, the Harpers Machados uh, Trout Jeter Judge uh, you know those guys the the basis so and they're not ones I PC but you know I they're still good players and they're hard for me to let go all the time I can tell you right now, the Harpers are probably going. But other than that, till next time, see ya.